So for today, we're going to be looking at the Anthemic Invocation set for the Titans. So if you guys don't know, we usually review a video and the shaders, both right here. And then we go to the class videos as well, which the Hunters, you already have one right here. Definitely some of my best work there. And for the Titans, honestly, I really like a lot of these as well. I think the Anthemic stuff is really, really good. And I'm really excited to see what people do with it because, again, this set is amazing. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really, really does help. Hit the bell notification if you want to keep up to date with my current content. I'm also working on finally finishing up my Discord and Patreon. So that way you guys have a little bit more access to just me in general because I will be very active in that Discord. And also if you guys want to like shoot me like a tip or anything, then I'm going to have Patreon for that. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So Titans, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. There is really no bad set that I've made in this video. I think all of them are really, really cool. Do I reuse some pieces? Definitely, but I still think they look amazing. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet. And this one is really, really cool. We're going to be using the helmet for this one, like I said. And Forbidden Wish is going to be the shader because it just kind of makes sense. It's a it's a like Ahamkara look. The helmet is very much an Ahamkara look, so I just like lean into that. For the arms, War Newman's Fist. For the chest piece, we're going to be using Heart of Inmost Light with the Abyss Inverted. I actually love this look. The only thing that I can really say that I am kind of, I guess, not disappointed, but nitpicky about is that I wish we had the ability to turn off glows with just armor in general. Because I feel like I would have liked this a lot more if the glow wasn't there because there is no glow anywhere else. That being said, I'm not like, like I, I still made the, the set up obviously, so I'm not like super bothered by it, but it's more of like, I wish we had that option. For the chest piece, Technosaurus Stompers, I love this one. This one is one of my favorite boots if you want to go for like, just a really like, like, like almost like a monster look. It just looks amazing. And then the Anthemic Invocation mark, because this one, was, this was the best choice to use it. So definitely like this one a lot. If you want to go for a Heart of Inmost Light look, this is definitely going to be really cool because A, the Heart of Inmost Light, specifically for the Abyss Inverted Ornament, the like sc like scratches on the chest just looks so amazing with all of, all of it. Like it legitimately looks like my Titan has been fighting like another Ahamkara or just another enemy in general. Like it just looks so cool. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Anthemic Invocation Gauntlets. This one, I want to say is my favorite just because the arms are so cool. So for the helmet, Dendrite Shimmer Helm, this is one of my favorite helmets in the game. It's amazing. That being said, it is a problem because it does take off colors, which is why I'm using Omnicronia. Omnicronia just combines everything into one shader or one color, which is why it's one of my favorite colors. Uh, for the chest piece, Veil Tithes Plate. For the boots, we're going to be using Abeyant Leaps. And then for the mark, uh, the Forian mark. So I really like this set a lot. It looks really, really cool. And it makes a lot of sense. Uh, if I were to if I were to switch anything, it would probably be the chest piece, because a lot of the armor pieces for this are very like organic looking. Not saying the chest piece doesn't look organic; it looks organic enough where it doesn't look bad. But if you were like, nah, I want to like I want it to look like more organic, like more uh, bio metal, then I would switch it out for one of the chest pieces from either Crota or literally almost anything from a high theme. So Crota, um, Oryx, and the, uh, the not Spire, oh, the uh, Grasp of Avarice dungeon, specifically the chest piece for that one. Those three would be pretty cool. That being said, the Grasp would probably be the lowest on the totem pole for me because I don't think it's a good chest piece for this look. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite and another look for Abeyant Leaps. I have so many looks for Abeyant Leap. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Anthemic Invocation Plate. So this one is super weird and it's it, it's so cool in a like weird way. So for the helmet, Mask of the Quiet One is where we're going to be using. I love this helmet aesthetically. It just looks amazing. For the arms, Gauntlets of the Great Hunt is where we're using because I want to have pointy bits in this because the chest piece and the helmet have pointy bits and the boots as well. We're going to be using the Technosaurus Stompers again. One of my favorite boots in the game. I, I'm going to be real with you guys. I should veto myself from using these, but they're so cool and they go with almost everything. And then for the boots or for the 
And then for the mark, we're going to be using Chem Flesh Mark. So this one has a very weird look to it because like almost everything looks like very like, like primitive and like fucking like I'm going to rip your throat out. And then you see the arms very Gucci, very not Gucci, but very like regal, very like knightly. So that's why I say it kind of looks weird, but I still think it looks cool. So for the shader, this is going to be funny. We're going to be using Cryptic Insignia for everything but the helmet, specifically because the Mask of the Quiet One unfortunately takes the off colors in a really weird way. So the helmet actually would be all of the off color and then the chain would be the main color. So I just decided to use Jacarina because I wanted white and black in there. And I think that came out really, really good. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Definitely my favorite if I didn't have that second one, because again, the second one is just so good. And then last but not least, we have this monstrosity here. We're going to be using the Helm of Saint 14 with the Sainted Visage ornament. So this one's pretty cool because I really like some of the pieces that I used for this. So the Veil Tithe Gauntlet with the War Newman's Vest, I think looks pretty cool. Uh, a lot of pointy bits in there for the boots, obviously the in Anthemic Invocation Greaves because of, again, the pointy bits to it. And then Mark of the Pit because of the green in there. I wanted, I decided, well, let me just, let me start from the beginning. I actually had another shader in mind because I wasn't going to use Gambit Jade Stone. I was going to use something else. But unfortunately, when I put Mark of the Pit on it, I was like, this looks so cool. I have to match the green on the helmet with the green on the mark, which is why Gambit Jade Stone got chosen. But honestly, if you have another green, might as well use it. The only thing I would warn you about is the fact that the, in, the Anthemic Invocation Greaves has uh off colors to it like specifically like the uh knee bottom although the knee all the way to the bottom of the foot all of it takes off colors not completely but there is off colors in there so just be aware of that again watch the review video because i go through all of that like i go through all of the shaders if you want to see how they shader again go to the shader video but if you want to see specifically me talk about how it how it shaders then go to the review video so let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. I really, really do because a lot of people don't and a lot of new people don't as well. So if you are new and you are at this point, let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. Without you guys, my channel would be nothing. So again, hit the bell notification. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.